Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies. And now, I've made a little bit more money since last time, so I actually have all that I think I need for the Tree of Wisdom now. So let's just go ahead and do all this. Because just, this is how it goes, apparently. But I have so much money. I have more money than I'm ever probably going to ever need. <laughs> the Zen Garden just gives you so much money after you've grown it a lot more. Okay, there's 90 feet. Let's get the rest, because I think this should be enough. Right? Oh no, I need to buy all of this. Right, I forgot. That's how that works. <sighs> Here. There we go. Okay. 90 feet. 91. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Hey, I'm 100 feet tall. Celebrate with me by... Uh, typing daisies to get the zombies to leave tiny daisies behind when they die. <laughs> cool, I need to figure out, like, I need to, like, note that down so I remember how to do that. Apparently. Okay. So that is the Tree of Wisdom complete now. That's pretty good. Uh, so I guess now I'm gonna go do something else which I'm gonna probably be very, very bad at, so... Let's go. Oh boy. Last Stand. I can't remember if I did this already, if I had trouble with it or not. I have a feeling that I'm going to have trouble with this. Um, but we have 5,000 sun. That's not good. Because I don't think we can get any more sun from sunflowers. So we, this is the amount of sun that we have. So we have to play this smart. So we're going to want a li lily pad. We don't want potato mines. Or chili bombs or cherry bombs. We possibly don't want, uh, like, garlics, coffee beans. We don't want mushrooms. Um. 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 Just trying to figure out what to work with here. Kind of want to do, like, melon pulse. And that's it. But I don't know if that's a great idea. But it's the idea that I have, so I don't, I don't really know. I could otherwise do three Peters and torch wood and toll nuts or something. I really don't know. Some kind of pulse. Don't want any of the, the squash or tangle kelp. I'm debating spike weed, possibly. Maybe upgraded spike weed, I don't know. I'm putting all these things up here as options, but I don't think I'm going to use all of them. Or any of them, I don't know. There's also chompers that I could use. Uh, so let's take a look at this, because I think we get to plant anything we want to start off, so... Let's do a whole bunch of this. Okay. Okay. We have a lot of sun to use, but I'm... I'm, I'm worried about my strategy being bad. I'm very concerned. Uh, Torchwood. Torchwood. Okay. So, so now I need to make some decisions. I don't know how much... I can't divide numbers in my head. It's sad. Um, because I could do more three peters. Or I could put in some tall nuts. I think the three peters might be a good idea. Just to maximize. Anything that I can. I probably should have done some other stuff. I could even have actually had one of the one-use things just in case I needed it. We don't have any lawnmowers to work with, so this is going to be interesting. Let's go. So that's basically how this entire mode works, is we set up everything at the very beginning. And we can still put stuff in as it's going, but the idea is to actually have it set up so that you don't have to do anything else. You have to figure out what the best defense is, which is actually a cool idea for this game. Is just have a mode dedicated to figuring out a good strategy that just works. 
but I'm not good at the game, so I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, so. But anyway. I probably could have managed my son better so I could not have like the Torchwood and the Three Peters and just have more Melon Pults, but I feel like this is actually good because we have the the Torchwood making the Flame Peas because those are going to do a lot of damage. But it means I can't really use the Winter Melon because then the, they'll just get frozen and unfrozen all the time. Which could be a strategy that I could have done. But I, I don't know. Also, we're at the end of the, the thing. Although I think that possibly there's waves? I might be wrong about that. This might just be a single thing. Oh, that's not great. That's not great, having those out that far out, I guess. So I could have had those back a bit more or something. Or even just had, like, two winter melons. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, I was right. It, 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 it is... Oh, boy. Okay. We only have 350. We've lost that position there. I might put a winter melon there or there. I'll put it there just so I can defend that row a bit better. Don't have quite enough for another torchwood, so that's a problem. But I'm gonna go with this for now. We've done the first flag though, because this and Va Vars Breaker and um. I zombie are uh, three modes that are very similar to each other. But for some reason this mode is separate from the other two, so I don't know. It's it's just different in this version to what I'm used to. This is such a cool mode though, just watching the, the level happen. And planning it out in waves. I just wish there was like a speed up button or something. Also, I need to try out the code. Did that work? Did I spell it right? I might have spelled it wrong. No, I got it right. Okay. So now whenever the zombies die, they're gonna plant daisies where they died. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please take him out. Oh no. Oh, that was not good. <laughs> the daisies don't do anything extra special. They just put markers, basically. Which I guess we could take advantage of because it means we know where the zombies are dying. And where, where it needs more upgrades. Can't do anything about the pool, though. Nope, there goes that. I was really hoping that they, that they wouldn't take that out, because that's going to cost more sun. But I guess it's only 25, so... But still. Also, this is um not going well. Because... The melon pole is helping, but it's not helping enough to really deal with the rest of the problem. I really should have built that torchwood further back, We're going into this. Okay, that's two flags. Um, what do I want to do now? We have 400 sun, and I could repair the spot that was broken there. But the upper areas are probably going to have trouble in a minute as well. So there aren't really any good options for this, to figure this out. Hang on. I really want to repair this row, but I don't know if I should, and I'm debating using the spike weed. Because we have it we have enough for four of them, which will cover the outside. But again, I'm not sure if that's the way to go or not, because the the the, the pool is the problem at the moment, but I don't know. I guess I'll gamble on this and hope that this is going to work out okay we have no sun so this round is just completely up to the game I just hope that the melon pults are doing splash damage enough to the things in that row mainly so and if I can combine the winter melon with the spike weed, that would have actually probably been a better strategy than the other stuff that I've done. Because they can't take out the spike weed, so. 
but the spike weed isn't extremely helpful in every situation, so. Oh boy, please take him out, please take him out, please take him out. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. It's like the other roll over again. Also, the the 12 volt jump zombies, the javelin zombies, are going to be a real problem because they can run and, until they reach something to jump over, and I haven't really done anything to deal with that. So that's another problem. Also, the spike weed hasn't done anything about the football zombies, so we're going to lose this torch weed up, or torch wood up here. There it goes. Here comes the huge wave of zombies. I've made several mistakes about this. Oh boy. Oh, please take out that zombie. The winter melons and torchwood at the same time is not a working strategy for me right now. It's really not. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand for as long as possible. That's the whole point of last stand. This is my last stand. Okay, this is a lot of damage. We have 250 sun, okay. I think possibly a winter melon is tempting for the top rows. Just to manage that a little bit better. The bottom rows are alright, so I think that should be fine for the moment. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. Okay, so far so good. I think the top rows are doing really well because of the winter melon and the spike weed, which we can work on the more sun we get over time. The pool though is struggling, from what I can tell. Just because there's no spike weed there to deal with them as much. The bottom rows might be alright because of the the torchwood, although that's about to change because that one's gone now. Okay, so that, that row is now vulnerable. That's no good. It does have the three Peters helping it out though. Same with the top row. The symmetrical is not to my advantage right now. Oh, please take out the football zombie. Oh, please take out the football zombie. Oh, please take out the football zombie. No, we're about to lose. Oh, we made it so far though. We had it so far, three flags. Okay, so that's last stand, basically. But I want to win this, so I need to figure out how to do it better. So we've, we've learned from this experience. We need to figure out what we want to do and what we don't want to do. I really wish I could have like sets of plants that I could just pick up whenever I wanted instead of having to just do it manually. Uh, I think spike weed I should take advantage more advantage of, except that I can't use that in the pool, so I'm I probably want to avoid that actually. <sighs> do I want torchwood or do I want winter melons? Or do I want both and try and split the difference? <sighs> I might try and split the difference. <laughs> it's not gonna work, but I wanna try. I could also do star fruit as well. Could try pumpkin. Um, it might even be worth the magnet shroom and coffee bean, possibly. I don't want- I don't want to, though. Um, the imitator is basically pointless for this. Also, we could do cob cannon. Not that it's really going to help me get the achievement for that thing that it wants me to do, which is very difficult. But I could do it. Um... I don't know. I definitely don't want something that's going to last two seconds. Even though I could, because there's more sun, but I, I just don't want to do that. Uh, I might put in the Colonel Pult. See how this goes. Okay. 
Let's try and do this better. Same back row of melon pots as before. And I could I, 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 I could I, yeah. I could actually do something more simple than last time to start out and then build on from there. So let's do that. Maybe that. That's pretty good. Uh, and I don't want the thing as far out, so I should probably start with like there. Burning through this sun very quickly. But I mean, I have extra 200 sun to work with. And I have a pretty alright defense. I think because of how many winter melons I have compared to how many three Peters I have, which are going to have used the torchwood, I think that's going to balance it out more. Let's start onslaught. Now, do I need to do the code again? Possibly. No, I don't. It's still active. What was the other one? Oh, the other one's not even a thing I can do right now. I can't remember what the other one was, though. It's fine. I don't need it because there's no lawnmowers. It is kind of balancing out. Kind of. Except I don't think there's enough damage right now. So I really need to change something. If the, the, the freeze effect is only lasting so long. Oh boy, I might have made made I might might have made things work worse with this. Definitely. The winter melons are just not as worth it as I want them to be. I'm kinda of tempted to restart right now. I might restart right now because this is not looking good. It's 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 kinda of sad to watch. I wanna I want it to work, but I I don't wanna do it bad. <laughs> Let me do some simple stuff for a second. Simple stuff, you know, simple stuff. Uh what else was I looking at? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I could also use the Gatling P, except that's gonna be very expensive because that's four hundred because I need the re repeater as well. I might actually get the chomp. Okay. So let's try different stuff this time. Very different stuff. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Hang on. Uh, it, you didn't see anything. It's fine. I really wish I could have sets of stuff that I could just take, take, take out immediately. Chomper, da, 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 ba, 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 ba. Uh, melon? Melon, there it is. I lost it for a second, it's fine. Okay. So this should be able to maximize damage. Should is the key word there. And then maybe toll nuts? Especially in the pool. How do, I, how do I have so much extra sun this time? Probably because I'm not spending 300 of it at a time. Let's uh, start Onslaught and see how this goes. If we can get some more sun after this round, we might be able to put it into the middle rows a little bit more. So currently, we have four fire peas being shot into each row, plus the top and bottom grass sections have spikeweed, one, one patch of spikeweed each. We've got toll nuts stopping anything that wants to jump over into the torchwood, but that's only three empty spaces for the zombies to walk through or swim through. So, this could go any any direction at this point. Although, we're doing pretty pretty good, so...
The winter melons were just not working as much as I'd like them to. I'm not even sure if they're half as good as the torchwood strategy. Also, that zombie spawning in on top of the toll nut is just sad. Uh, I need to maximize damage more. But I need more sun for that, so... Let's see what we can do. We can put in one more. So I'm going to put that one... There. And see how that goes. We're not going to have enough sun next round unless they give me more sun each round, which I doubt. But I don't know, so... And if I didn't put in the toll nuts, I could actually even maximize damage more. But I, I want that extra defense to stop anything that can jump over it or eat fast, basically. And it's not going to work forever because I'm going to have to repair things, but still. Please stop him. Please stop him. Please stop him. Not enough damage. Oh boy. It's fine. He didn't do that much damage, but he did do damage, so that's that's not a good sign. If I can get more spike weed in, that'll be good. Because I guess the biggest problem isn't actually the pool, it's actually the the football zombies. Because they have so much health, they can just run into wherever they need to go and, and do damage. Also, them spawning in the pool is not great, though, so... There are definitely some things I'm gonna have to adjust. But the point of this mode is to last as long as possible... ...with what you have. Okay, sun. We have... ...250. I could put in some more spike weed, possibly. Or I could save up and try and put in another three-peater. I might hold off for the moment. And I can place as it's going, so... If anything starts going wrong, I can fix it, probably. Also, I don't think I want to have... Uh, the star fruit in a row. I probably want it in a column, like everything else, so they can actually hit everything happening, so I'm probably not going to use the star fruit because of that, because I've already messed it up if I wanted to use that. It's very interesting. Oh, football zombie. Oh, not good. Still don't see any cracks in our toll nut wall yet, so that's good. I wish there was like a custom mode where you could like do column as you see him, last stand, like that sort of thing. Like imagine column like you see him, or I think that's what that mode was called, but it's eye zombie. Or like vase breaker. Oh my goodness, that would be horrible. <laughs> but imagine trying to. Oh my goodness, that would not work, but it'd be. It'd be something. Okay, they're doing damage to my wall now. Even in the pool, actually. The pool is the only one that has cracks in it so far, but that's probably because they spawn on it at the wave of zombies. Okay, more sun. We have 500. I guess I should upgrade the pool defense. But I really want to put in more spike weed, so let's uh, let's go and see how we can do with this next, the, the next win, basically. I'm really not that focused on picking up anything that drops from the zombies right now, because I don't really need any of it. But I, the my brain is telling me to pick it up because that's what I normally do, so. So far, so good. The middle 
four lanes have a, a good amount of defense going into them right now. With either five or six shots or something like that. I think. Maybe actually. There's actually a lot of defense in the middle now. I want to spread it out to the outside, but I think I also want to use spike weed more. Because some of these door zombies are actually getting quite a fair way through. And if I have three spike weed in each column, or lane, that one, then they shouldn't be able to get through, so. But they will take, they'll still take time to get the other zombies behind them. Which is also a problem, but at least I'll have weakened them as well. There's a lot of zombies right now, and they are damaging the, the walnuts in the pool. And, oh my goodness, they have ladders now. I didn't realize they had ladders. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Nope, that's not good. Ah, uh, they're breaching the defense. I didn't even realize they were breaching the fence. Nope, there goes that. Um, I don't want to fix that right now, but I also probably need to. Okay, they did a lot of damage on that round. They're actually putting in tougher stuff now as well, so... Um... We have 400 sun. I think I should do more spike weed, although my defense is somewhat collapsing right now. Oh boy, here we go. Let's see how this goes. Okay. The pool might be struggling now, even though it has so much defense. I'll grab that. Just a random diamond. The Buckethead zombies aren't getting taken out. Oh, that's because there's no thing there. Oh my goodness, that row's gonna fall on this round, I think. Because there's no torchwood there. It's not doing enough damage. I should have put in a torchwood. But then I wouldn't have enough defense. It's it's uh it's all over now. This is a difficult mode. I made it four flags though, so that's pretty good. Um, I really have to rethink my strategy probably. But I don't know how to. I don't know how to. I don't know how to, 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 to rethink my strategy.